Okay guys, next DIY project and we have another 2x4 lap steel. But this one is red. So you might be thinking, wait, didn't this guy build a 2x4 lap steel last year? And I did. And it was sparkle blue. And this one is sparkle red. So there are a few differences between the two, but there are a lot of similarities. So they both use the same basic design where you take a 2x4, you notch a pickup groove, and you notch a headstock, and you basically make a guitar out of it. It's pretty straightforward. Now you could do these as an extremely simple and basically you would cut it, you would end it here and you would just put a jack on the back and just wire the pickup hardwired to the jack. But on both of mine, I tried to make them a little bit fancier and I added control cavities. On the blue one, I put the cavity cover on the bottom. Um, so you would access the electronics on the bottom. On this one, I put it on the top and mounted the knobs right on the top. On the other one, I put the jack on this side and the volume knob on this side and there's nothing on the top. On this one, I decided to put the knobs on the top, and this has a volume and a tone, where the other one just had a volume. So they're a little different, um, but overall, it's the same basic design. This one came out really nice. Um, we've got the jack there, and then we have a volume pot and a tone pot. These are 500K CTS pots, so they're a really high-end, nice pots. And I actually have a um, 022 microfarad uh, paper and oil capacitor. So basically, the best kind of capacitor you can get, it's an Emerson in between here. So the electronics in this thing are very nice um, and it sounds great. It's got a Strat pickup in it, a bridge pickup out of a Strat, so it's, it's it sounds really good. Um, it's got a, a, a fixed bridge where the other one had, um, the other one I did a through body bridge and just used a, um, a wooden bridge like this, like what I used for the nut here. I used one of those for the bridge on the other one. This one's actually got a metal bridge that's fully adjustable so you can intonate the strings properly and all of that. Uh, again, I use the CV Giddy acrylic fretboard with the kind of swirly paper underneath. Um, as I mentioned before, we used a wooden bridge, kind of cut some grooves in it for the nut. Um, we got a little, a little, a uh, what do you call that? A skull and crossbones up on the headstock. For the tuners on this one, I used parlor style tuners with the chrome buttons. Um, so they're open gear tuners, where the other one had sealed gear tuners. And, um, and then, oh, I added a little handle here. Uh, and so overall, it's it's just a pretty cool instrument. It's very stripped down and simple, but I really, really like it. And man, does this thing sound good. Uh, one other thing, if you flip it on the bottom, you can see I have these four bumpers here, right? And um, those are kind of funny. So after I got this thing all finished and I had uh, the finish on it, actually looks pretty nice, right? I don't know if you can see that, but like the other one, I did a sparkle finish and I did a similar thing where I got the standard paint color, the metallic paint color, and clear coat. And I did two coats of standard, a coat of sparkle, uh, or metallic, and then a coat of clear. And it actually ended up looking really nice. So I didn't want to beat that up. And on the other one, I put some like um, uh, furniture pads on the bottom there. But on this one, I had this idea. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a cigar box to make a guitar out of or something. And you open it, and it's got these kind of inserts in here, right? And you usually end up taking those out. And they just kind of pull out like this. Well, that's what I used. I just took these and I stained them, uh, sanded them off and stained them. And that's what I used here. And I didn't want to put too much finish on them because, you know, then you'd be worried about the finish again. So I just put them as bumpers so that if you throw this thing on the table or you got it on any sort of surface, you don't worry about beating up the finish. Oh, so one other thing I forgot to mention, guys. You see there are these two little triangles I made here. What those are for is you notice on the knobs there's numbers. And I know we've all seen a lot of knobs like this, and usually the numbers don't really mean anything. Well, you can see I lined them up such that, well, hopefully you can see that with the lighting, that this is all the way um, one direction, and this is all the way the other direction. So the arrows actually point at the number. So like, let's just say that you had a really sweet tone that was like right here. Then you could just look at it and you could say, oh, the volume's at about nine and a half, and the tone's at about six and a half. And you can get that back, get that tone, that uh, setting back really easy. So that's why I did that. Just kind of a random thing that I threw in there, but it just makes it easy to see, um, you know, where you're at. Uh, one other difference between this one and the blue one. The blue one had these strings on it. These are the southbound um, lap steel strings, and they're the Nashville style or Hawaiian style tuning, uh, the C6 tuning. So you can see the gauges here: 34, 30, 24, 20, 17, 14. So fairly light gauge strings for a six string 
that's what I used on the blue one. Well, on this one, I wanted to do an open detuning, so I used the different southbound strings. These are the blues style strings, and you can see the gauges on this one. Well, hopefully, if I can get it in the right spot. 52, 42, 32, 24, 16, 12. So, a lot heavier strings here. Um, and this is tuned in open D, which is uh, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. I don't know if you can hear that, but basically it's an open D chord. Um, and so that's how this one is tuned. And um, they're both really similar, but yet they're both really different. And they look really cool together. So here we have it, my second lap steel, the Sparkle Red, whereas the other one is the Sparkle Blue. This one's got the Strat pickup, the other one has the P90, this one's got volume and tone pots, where the other one only had a volume pot. This one's got the fixed bridge, where the other one had the, the through body bridge. Uh, this one has the open gear tuners, the other one had the sealed gear tuners, but basically, same design. So uh, let's do a little sound sample and see what she sounds like. Okay guys, I am not a lap steel player or anything even close to it, but uh, this thing really sounds good. By the way, so if I roll the tone all the way up, it's nice to have the tone pot because we get a lot of sparkle there, which is great. But if we roll the tone back a little, it really sweetens it up. Hear that? I mean, it's just really nice. So um, you can also roll the, the uh, volume off a little and get rid of some of that, that bite. But anyway, let's do a little quick sound sample on the old uh, 2 by 4 here. playing this thing sounds really good so very pleased with this instrument hey man it's a two by four with a couple notches in it and uh you get a uh, you get a lap steel out of it hey why not <laughs>